Our ever-expanding household Wi-Fi network dictates that we get one of these, a Netgear AC750 Wi-Fi extender that increases the Wi-Fi range in our household. We just take it out of the box, plug it in, and for a few seconds, you're going to see an orange power light. By the way, if you've got one of these puppies and it's refurbished, you're going to need to reset it. On, this, on the left side of this model, there's a little reset button. You would push that for about, I think, seven or eight seconds, and it would reset the device. And we're waiting for this power light to change to green. And bingo. Now that we have the green power light visible, let's go to the left-hand side of this device. You'll see three buttons. The top is the reset button that I already mentioned. The middle button is the one we're going to press right now the WPS button. So we'll just push that button and then we'll get the flashing WPS uh, light in the diamond. There it is. By the way, when you first set this up, you want to do it in the same room as your router. Now let's go over to the router and we're, we're going to push the WPS button on the router and we want that light to flash on the router. So both devices should have a flashing WPS light. When the two devices find each other, like two electronic loss lovers, their lights will glow on a constant on. They won't be flashing anymore. You'll see the router light on the left-hand side of the diamond. Normally, you wouldn't see that device light on at all, but this device was configured earlier. All right, so we're good to go. Now that the router sees the extender and vice versa, we can move this extender to the room that we're going to ultimately place it in. And don't worry, once you unplug the extender, the configuration won't be lost. Now we're going to move to the front part of the house where we're going to place this thing ultimately. And once we plug it in, it's just going to take a little bit to warm up. After a few seconds, all lights will light up with the exception of the device light in your case. But here we had this device configured earlier. Okay, as an added bonus, I'm going to show you how to link a smart device to the extender. Here we've got a smart bulb. You've got to flick this particular bulb off four or five times very quickly. And then once you do that, it starts flashing, which means it's ready to be paired to, in this case, an extender. I'm going to use the Smart K app on my phone to pair this uh, smart bulb. So I pull up the Smart K app, choose Smart LED Bulb. You want to do all this while the bulb is flashing. Press here for yellow light blinking. And then this is where I'm going to select the extender network. It's not this one. Netgear 01 is the primary network. We want to change that. So we're going to highlight that network. And we should see a drop down which al allows us to select the extenders network. Switch to another LAN. That's what we want to do. And then we're going to pull up all the networks in the vicinity. And we want that one, the 2GEXT. Netgear 01 underscore 2GEXT. So we'll press that and it's going to look for the IP address of the extender and then it's going to try to connect, which it should have no problem doing. Bingo, there it is. And then we'll go back to the main part of the app. The password's already in there in my case. And then click next and then the extender will start trying to talk to the smart bulb. And the smart bulb will start flashing like a strobe light little B-52's reference for you older folks like me. Yep, there we go. Strobe, strobe, strobe light. Yeah. And then once the smart bulb connects to the extender, then we can rename the bulb within the app. And we're good to go. And you did that without putting in any IP addresses or using any websites. Hope this little tutorial helped you. If it did, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.